The multi-channel sequence is the core of Reply Sales Engagement Platform and your one-stop shop for hassle-free sales communications. Each sequence includes a repeatable number of steps. For example, personal emails and follow-ups, calls, social touches, meetings, or to-do tasks with programmable delays between each step. To create a new sequence, click the red plus button on the sequences page. There are two options to create a new sequence. If you select the From Template option, you can choose between Reply Templates or Team Templates. Here, you can see your saved templates or your team templates if you have team members. The second option is to create a sequence from scratch, selected if you want to create a completely new one. From there, the sequence wizard will guide you through the steps that you need to do in order to launch your sequence. The first step is to add a step. Click the Add Step button to create the first one. You can choose between email, call, and task steps, combining them in an order that best suits your workflow. To keep all sequence emails in the same thread, you simply need to leave the subject line of every follow-up email blank. After creating your sales sequence with several follow-ups, you can also customize the delays between the steps. There is the A-B test feature within the platform that is available for any plan. You can watch a video to know more details about the A-B testing feature. Also, while creating sequence steps, you can reorder steps using the drag-and-drop functionality. You can add a call step to connect with your prospects on the phone right from your Reply account and Chrome extension. When contact is moved to the call step in your sequence, Reply creates a corresponding call task you can access through the Tasks dashboard in Chrome extension or the Tasks page in the web application. Similar to the call step, the task step aims to inform you that contact requires a certain action. For example, book a meeting after a successful call or connect on LinkedIn. After you have created all the necessary steps in the sequence, click Next to select a campaign schedule. By default, you will see a list of schedules available to you. Select one and modify it based on your requirements. You can also create another schedule that may be useful if you want to run multiple sequences targeted to different time zones. Watch the How to Set a Schedule video to learn more. Once the schedule is selected, you can add contacts to your sequence. Here, you can upload contacts from a .csv file, add existing contacts, or create them manually. To import contacts from a CSV file, choose this option and select the file you would like to upload. On the mapping page, confirm and check the CSV fields match the fields you will be using in reply. In general settings, you can specify the sending email address, set daily sending limits, as well as the delay between each email sent. If you would like to review these settings in more detail, you can watch the Sequence Settings Overview video. The launch step provides you with an overview of the sequence. From here, you can save or save and launch the sequence, or jump to any step of the sequence wizard. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at reply.io. Thank you.